I am uh, today signing S-2996, the Foreign Assistance Act of 1962. In enacting this legislation, members of the Congress of both parties have again demonstrated their understanding that it is our national obligation and in our national interest and security to work for a world in which uh, there is a chance for national sovereignty and uh, national independence. This uh, matter of foreign assistance has been outside of the party dialogue since uh, 1947 when the program began. And uh, while it is a matter which uh, has uh, caused a good many uh, members of the Congress and the executive branch a good deal of uh, difficulty in the political sense, members of both sides have uh, risen to uh, their greater responsibilities, which is the security of the country. I cannot emphasize, sitting in this uh, position where I sit, how important this bill is. It uh, provides uh, military assistance to uh, countries which are on the rim of the communist world and under direct attack. It provides economic assistance to those governments which are under attack uh, from uh, widespread uh, misery and social discontent which are exploited by our adversaries. And uh, this permits us to speak with a much stronger and more effective voice. The amount of money that's involved uh, in the non-military areas are a fraction of what we spend on our national defense every year, and yet this is very much related to our national security and is as important uh, dollar for dollar as any expenditure for national defense itself. So that uh, the very clear identification with our national security has been recognized by President Truman and President Eisenhower, and I can emphasize uh, how strongly I recognize it. And uh, in Latin America, where they have staggering problems, Africa and Asia, where many events are encouraging to us, it would be a great mistake and a great uh, loss if uh, we fail to uh, carry on uh, this program this year. I recognize that many of our fellow citizens uh, disapprove it, but I really believe that that's because they do not uh, uh, recognize how closely tied in it is to our national interest. They support these large expenditures for defense, in many cases, and oppose this. And yet I put the two side by side, and in many areas, this is the most important because it assists those countries which are directly under the gun. So I want to express our appreciation to uh, members of both parties who are here. As I say, this is a matter which has been kept out of the political dialogue and will continue to be so as far as I'm sure all of us are concerned because it's uh, in the interest of our country. And I express my thanks to all those who participated in the passage of this bill both Republicans and Democrats, members of the House and the Senate.